This is lesson 69 in the basic JavaScript section of Free Code Camp. This lesson, logical order in if-else statements. Order is important in if-else-if if statements. The loop is executed from top to bottom, so you will want to be careful of what statement comes first. Take these two functions as an example. Here's the first. This function called foo takes in x as a parameter. It checks if x is less than 1, it's going to return less than 1. Else if x is less than 2, it will return less than 2. Else return greater than or equal to 2. And the second just switches the order of the statements. So this one's called bar. It takes an x as a parameter, but they switched. Here, first we check if x is less than 2. And if it is, we return less than 2. Then else if x is less than 1, we return less than 1 else we return greater than or equal to 2. So while they look nearly the same, we get different outputs. With foo, when we pass in 0, we get less than 1. With bar, when we pass in 0, we get less than 2. And that's because when we pass in 0 into our first function, it checks this first condition. 0 is less than 1 and it will return less than 1. It will not run any of this other stuff because this statement was true and it returns less than 1. Same applies with the second function, bar. If we pass in 0, it's going to check if 0 is less than 2 and it will automatically return the first return or the first true condition and return less than 2. And these will not even run. So while these, these two functions look nearly identical, if we pass a number, we get different outputs. Instructions. Change the order of logic in the function so that it will return the correct statements in all cases. So order my logic with 4 passed in should return less than 5. And we can do that. So right now, so the, the, they want us to win force passed in into val. We want it to print less than 5. So it won't do that right now. Right now if we pass it in it will print less than 10. And that's because 4 is less than 10. So it will not bother running any of this stuff. But if we simply say 5 here. And change this to less than 5. Then it will work. We could change this to 10. And then put less than 10 else return greater than or equal to 10. So now this should work because 4 gets passed in and it first checks if 4 is less than 5, which it is. So it will run this code and return less than 5. And if we did 8, same thing. It would go in here. It will check this first if 8 is less than 5, which it's not. So it will not run this code. It will go to the next else if, which will check if 8 is less than 10, which it is. It will then run this, which will return less than 10. If it was something higher than 10, like 12, then it will same thing. Go in here is 12. 12 is not less than 5, so it won't run that first if. It won't run the else if either, because 12 is not less than 10. Else it will return greater than or equal to 10. So all that all makes sense. So that should be it for this lesson. And we're good. As you guys can see, we passed in 12 and we got in the counts console here greater than or equal to 10. So that's it for this lesson.